What's up guys, it's Patriots Man here and I am back with another video. Today guys, we have some Madden Mobile 23 updates that are going to pertain to the most feared promo, a gameplay and other updates, basically some weekly updates we usually get here to talk about the game. So first of all, we have some most feared information. So part two of most feared is going to be revealed tomorrow as expected because the current promo ends on Thursday and the sneak peeks will be one day prior. So tomorrow are the sneak peeks for part two of most feared. It's going to start Thursday the 20th and run until November 1st, the day after Halloween. Now November 1st is probably going to be the start of the season three field pass as well. So that kind of makes sense, I guess. Once we get a new field pass, are we also going to get a new promo the very same day? That's a very good question. We'll see how that pans out. And overall, the promo is going to be less than two weeks long. So it's going to be a fairly short promo compared to what we've had throughout Mad Mobile 23 so far. So very interesting right there. There are possible hints towards a particular mobile QB, which sounded sort of like Michael Vick, but we don't know exactly when or who that mobile QB is going to be. Um, now, Jerome Bennett is going to be one of the masters for this upcoming part two most feared promo, a halfback card. I'll put it on the screen right here. They showed it during the stream. Um, card art for the promo looks pretty good. Seems like we may have a little bit of a carnival type theme here once again with some other cool stuff and the detailing with the eyes of the players are going to make it look really, really cool. And I think overall, we're going to be happy with it. Might have some different aspects. We'll see. Um, I think they said something about plus packs and stuff like that. They're going to appear in the promo as well. So if you remember back to Gridiron Guardians where we had the um, Uncommon Plus instead of just Uncommons, you guys could pull rares and epics from those. Also be able to pull players from events. But we're going to kind of see what that's all like tomorrow when we get the official sneak peeks. Now another master is going to be, quote, very spicy if you were to eat him. So that would be, I guess, a lot of people are thinking Pepper, so like Julius Pepper, someone like that. It's the main favorite right now that people are thinking about. No kickers or punters in any of the player drops, so good to see. If you do a random player pack, you're not going to have a chance to pull any kickers or punters, which is good. You can probably get somebody on offense or defense. Unless they put any returners in, you might end up with some returners instead of offense or defense. Uh, Non-iconic out-of-position players are going to likely make an appearance at some point during the program, so that is very cool. Um, if you want to go for OOP players instead of like Masters, these OOP players may not make your team. However, they are cool cards. You can keep them for down the line, play with them whenever you want. You know, pretty cool right there. And one thing I wanted to add myself was that the promo is also going to have a new stadium, like a brand new stadium we haven't seen before. So that might be revealed tomorrow but it's definitely going to be inside the promo when it drops on Thursday. Now for our other updates, we have gameplay information, more discussions surrounding gameplay are happening internally, and of course we have some gameplay stuff that's going to be changed here pretty soon. Um, defense is getting more focused at the moment in terms of gameplay. Adding another play to each of the schemes is planned to occur relatively soon, so we're going to get some new plays, and two-point plays might be switched up, which, you know, another thing that we heard before, um, the changing of plays, changing of two-point plays. No surprise there, but it's good to know that's going to be coming here pretty soon and have a mix-up in the playbook. Now, finally, other information. Devs are tossing around ideas of making defense more worth it and bringing a version of game plans back was brought up. So if you guys don't know what game plans was, game plans were like counter-type things. I remember in Mad Mobile 18, we definitely had them, where you could choose a certain player or something to counter, and your defense, based on how good the game plan was, could basically automatically counter that play. So if somebody wanted to run Hail Mary, and you know you had the Hail Mary game plan equipped, if they ran Hail Mary, it's basically almost an insta sack and hard to come back from. That would be good this year for certain run plays, say like run plays like halfback dive or something, or, or one trap. If somebody wants to do a run play on first down, they might get blown up right away. Now it's very, very important to note these game plans are not in the works very soon. In fact, you know, not for a while. They were just kind of brought up with the devs and stuff, like within internal talks and stuff like that. Um, but Nick made sure that everyone knew that these are not confirmed. They're not truly talking about them yet. He just wanted some community feedback and requested that for people to kind of talk about it and let them know what they thought about it. And finally, it sounds like the bees at Nick's house are gone. That's also some very good news. Good situation right there. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the Mad Mobile 23 updates we got here today. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.